Okay, welcome to Punch Equipment. I'm Bruce Townhill and with me is Evelyn. And Evelyn's gonna show you how and why you'd choose a four foot boxing bag. So around 110, 120 centimeters is most bags. This one comes with a chain and swivel up top. So it's a little bit heavier duty. And this is your entry level bag for gym use. Now I'll show you why. First of all, just for boxing, this bag's weighing over 30 kilos, where a three foot bag's sort of tw sub 20. So anything from 25 to 35 kilos, you'll get a four foot bag. So they are heavier, they do move slower, and they allow bigger people to train on them. But also it's the first entry level bag for kicking. So Evelyn will just show you what we're gonna do. Once again, she takes a position and she lets the bag come to her. So you're gonna give it a kick or a punch? Kick. Okay, so just a nice little front kick to give it a tap. Next time, two punches. Oh, do I kick it again? And then you can kick it, kick it again as it comes towards you. So this is an introductory size for kickboxing. Then you can feel it's a lot heavier. Yeah, so it's a lot more formidable bag. You've got to make sure that kids and ladies and men training on this bag have their wrists wrapped because there is enough weight in this to actually cause wrist damage if you strike it wrong. You can feel the difference? Yeah. So the little three-footer flies around, pretty forgiving. The four-footer is your entry-level gym bag, much heavier, more formidable. You can use body rips on this, so you can produce heavy punches with this with no problem. Body ripping, head shots, front kicks, round kicks, entry level bag. 30, 35 kilos, once again with a little bit of uh, discretion, the bag doesn't fly around too much, and this is what we'd recommend just to start off with in the kickboxing or tie boxing scene.